Yet another baseball story. This is the Big E. The Windsor Chiefs are the newly crowned Canadian senior men's champions. We know what they look like in top form in uniform, but we are now going to take a look at what they look like after a victory celebration. The Windsor Chiefs arrived home at Windsor Racket and Fitness Club early this morning. They brought with them something that they will be able to cherish the rest of their lives. The Canadian Senior Men's Championship will be receiving outstanding play from mainstays Leo Paul Bracken and Mike Cooper, as well as Steve Wilson, Don Hollerhead, Rick Lindquist, Mike Labiak, Rob Murphy, and Kevin Paradise. Kyle Rudley will return to the team after being away for two years, and Paul Rutsky will be traveling back to Windsor after a stint in British Columbia. Greg Ray, a utility infielder and catcher Pat Dumichel, will also be joining the Chiefs. They are currently attending Indiana State on baseball scholarships. The team boasts of having three Canadian national team players. They are John Ivan, Tom Nelson, and if not drafted, pitcher Mark Wooden will join the club in June. Four-year veterans Steve Vorkapich, Rich Coughlin, and John Drew are young players that will definitely be contributing this season. If you're a pitcher and you're not playing all the time, there's many things you can do besides driving your teammates crazy. One of the things that I always do, uh, you know, if I'm getting bored or something after uh, baseball trivia, is go out to the bullpen and see how many baseballs I can hold. Now, the eighth one, I'm having a hard time. I can't get in here somehow. I guess that would be my best bet, but can't get it. Well... When I get the eighth one, I'll see you then. Tom, um, how'd things go for you in New Market, Ontario, on the weekend? Uh, we had a really good uh, weekend. We won all three games we played, two of them by the Mercy Rule, 8-0 uh, and 11-3. Then we came up against our uh, biggest rival in Ontario, the Leaside Hurricanes, and we beat them 8-5 in the semifinal game. The tournament final didn't get played because of the rain, so they gave us the championship because we'd won three games, but we split the prize money because the team we were supposed to play in the final was also undefeated, but they only had two wins because they had a bye. But I was really happy. The pitchers threw well. Our team batting average was 405 for the weekend. During the year, Cable 11 aired short baseball tips that were prepared by the Windsor Chiefs. Here is Chief Catcher Mike Wilson explaining proper catching techniques. A very short motion to throw. Is that... Uh... Is that right? Would that be better if a ball was thrown and I could... Uh... <laughs> this is Chief Pitcher Rick Lindquist. Of release, you're always watching the catcher's glove. Outfielder Don Hollerhead on how to catch fly balls. Whoops. Oh, is that what you got? Let's try the right way now, Donnie. Nice catch. Right. Now, Don, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times not to do that on camera. Important thing to remember, bat selection is very important. You must choose a bat that is comfortable to you. All the time, a bat... The, the weight of the bat is uh, is most important. If you do it again, <laughs> okay. I got, what do I want to say there? The heavier the bat does not always mean you'll get more power. It's the speed of the bat. Thus, you should pick out a bat that is comfortable to you and that you can whip. Now, before we do the stretching, we're going to go for a little jog. All right, so let's go. <sighs> okay, I'm back. There's some optional pitching stretches, which Don Hollerhead, uh, assistant coach here will help me demonstrate. He will sit down. Now, the person will put his knee on the side, this way he doesn't jab him in the back. And his arms will be up, and he will provide. Let's see how long we can get Vork to stay there. For another hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vork. What, longer? This picks you. Come on, we want to work you oh. over. Let's go. Hold it, keep the toes, straighten out the legs a little. That looks ah, nice. There we go. Hold it there, hold it there. That's it, big guy, that's good. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the intense look of a hitter. But what's with the cap? Taggers? That guy looks real familiar to me. He's not a dirt bike racer. And he's not a jockey. Rugby player? Nah. Uh, wrestler maybe. 
Steve Cooper. Nah, that's coach Dave Cooper, Windsor coach of the Windsor Bulldogs. More about the team. Still have 25 left in camp, Ren, and uh, hopefully we're going to get down to 20 and two goaltenders. Game tonight, Redford, uh, what's the competition like? Well, that's a Tier 2 Junior A League out of Detroit. We've played the Detroit Falcons two games already. We've tied them, and they've beat us by a goal. Here is okay, pitching here's ace, Punky Bracken. He hardly made any errors in his tips, or did he? Bad throw to first. Matic base going from first to second on a steal. Okay, that's good. You sure? That's it. Okay. This is what the stands look like for the Chiefs home opener. Is that guy alive? But then general manager Jock Papineau came up with this great idea. <laughs> give, give away a Chief night. Now Jock spares nothing when it goes to traveling expenses. When the Chiefs go out of town, they fly air puce. <laughs> 